This could change conferences forever. I'm going to explain how, and I'm also going to share an idea that could completely blow up what you think a conference could or should be. I'm Chad Littlefield. I get to work with some of the smartest and coolest events and organizers and organizations who gather people together with a purpose, and I help ensure that their conferences are deeply, deeply connected. And so having worked with well over 100,000 people in a conference context, I'm gonna share the my current best thinking about what could really drastically shake up conferences. Because every conference organizer I've ever connected with wants to push the envelope and do something different and they want this year to be the best and they want to make sure that people come back next year, etc. And I think that the two ideas that I'm about to share could ensure that that happens for you and your event. Okay, the first one, and I think this is, an, this is a future focused video. I've been thinking about the idea for myself of the 500 word keynote, right? We speak at about 175 words a minute, and so a 500 word keynote would be about three minutes of talking. And so if you picture a typical keynote slot of 60 minutes, what if your, all your keynote speakers gave their keynote in 500 words in three minutes, and the rest was designed really heavily for contribution. Here's the context. Uh, most conferences, symposiums, summits are designed very heavily for consumption, right? Here's a lot of content. Go to these sessions with your notebooks, take lots of notes, and hopefully leave and go implement those ideas. The problem is that sometimes those ideas get implemented and sometimes they don't. Sometimes they get remembered and sometimes they don't, which is part of the reason that they don't get implemented in the first place is they may not get remembered. If you really want your content to stick and you want people to remember what happened during your event, You've got to redesign your event for contribution, not just consumption, which is a good thing actually, because when you compete in the land of consumption, uh, you get some really stiff competition. Every social media software platform, streaming service is all trying to capture people's attention. And so to compete in that place is really, really difficult, right? You gotta have some intense, engaging, expensive stuff to get people's attention. When you design for contribution though, you totally remove yourself from competing for people's attention and you're actually creating moments where people get to experience uh, each other, each other's perspectives. So here's the thought, 500 word keynote. What if I were to show up on stage for 60 minutes with the goal of only speaking for three? And so if I walked up and I said, hey, welcome, there's a thousand of you here, and if you've, each of you have 10 years of experience, that means there's 10,000 years of experience in this audience right now. And so I'm not gonna do very much talking. I have 10 or five or two very strategic specific questions to ask you to ideally help you solve some problems, get new perspectives, connect with each other in a way that sparks some really fantastic conversations for the rest of this event. Are you ready? Question number one. So admittedly, at the time of recording, I have not given a 500 word keynote. All of my keynotes, I just got back from San Diego giving a keynote to uh, 3,000 folks. Half of that time was me talking and sharing ideas. Half of that time was experience where people were getting a question card and doing a big question swap. We were debriefing, unpacking ideas, journaling out things, right? So there was these uh, elements that were designed for contribution. But that's half, that means the half hour, I still shared ideas and spoke. But if you're watching this video and you're like, I love this idea, I wanna push the limits, reach out and maybe we can set it up and design a really, really, really stellar, mind-blowing, memorable 500 word keynote for your group. The second concept, did you forget about this little card here? This was one piece before I started filming and then as I started filming, I was fidgeting and it snapped in half, which is perfect representation for what this card actually stands for. It is a green card not the immigration type. It is um, just literally a simple plastic green card. And at NASA, a green card means something very different. At NASA, which is an organization who's really good at training and education because 99% of an astronaut's job is training and education and 1% is going to space. And so one of the things they do in training simulations, so imagine a pool where the International Space Station is submerged underwater. They're running this simulation. And I learned this uh, from uh, Chris Hadfield, who was an astronaut, the guy that played the guitar in space at one point. He shared about this concept of green cards where in the middle of a simulation, the person running the training exercise 
would toss up a green card or send to people's mics and say green card. And what a green card was, was something that changed the name of the game. So if they were working on fixing, I don't really know space stuff that well, but if they were like working on fixing this space machine over here, the green card might say, um, hey, there's a fire in the East Bay. You've got to go figure it out and deal with this problem, All right? So you get it, it's an idea that changed the name of the game. What if, part of your conference design was actually sharing three to five green cards throughout one to three days where you got up on stage and just for a quick minute shared a green card that changed the name of the game. You could even use this framing that they use green cards at NASA, blah, 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 blah. For example, you might say between now and the cocktail party, you got a challenge. You must meet two people that you have not met before or just as you're transitioning into people's session, hold up a green card and say, uh, challenge. Typically when we walk into a breakout session room, we tend to sit with the people that we know or that we came with or old friends if we've gone to this conference multiple years in a row. Challenge is sit down next to somebody who you do not know and find out a story about their work in the last three months that they found inspiring. Do you see how valuable that could be? Because what you're doing, what a green card like that would do, would assume the social risk for your audience to have a good excuse to create memorable moments, which is why they came to the conference in the first place, right? If you wanna implement either of these ideas, the 500 word keynote or the green card method, or just get creative and push the envelope and design your event for contribution, I'm Chad Littlefield and I do this for a day job. Uh, there's a link below to this connected conference offering. Would love to um, connect with you. I love working with events to gently eradicate small talk and create conversations that matter and make moments uh, happen for people that they will remember for a decade after your event. Have an awesome day.